have a spare, but if we can avoid things like that, it would be it would be great. So last night is the first night I actually fully slept. Either I was exhausted or I finally got over my jet lag. I know I still look pretty tired. Um, I think I'll, I'll probably have these until I get back to Belgium and come back to a normal rhythm. Uh, or have a few good nights at the Airbnb. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sleeping in a room with a bunch of other people. It's not as, as uh, quiet as it seems to be. So what? Why am I vlogging in this deserted area? Well, I just dropped off my backpack at my capsule hotel for tonight where I'm going to be staying because my uh, hostel is full. Um, so it's Akihabara Bay Hotel, a capsule hotel for women only. So it's all pink and pretty and uh, it looks really fun. <laughs> uh, luckily, they took my bag before check-in because it was really heavy. Good news and bad news. Uh, well, not really bad, bad news, but let's get it out of the way. It's bad weather again. It's starting to rain, uh, so we'll probably have weather like yesterday. I can't believe that yesterday, uh, two days ago, I was wearing a t-shirt and no coat, and now I'm like with my jumper and coat and scarf. <laughs> the passersby are looking at me, but duh, I'm like vlogging in an alley. <laughs> And there's like the main road right in front of me. Now I get to visit the city. I think I'm gonna take it a little more chilled than yesterday because yesterday I went... Sorry, I'm talking really fast but I want to get out of this alley. Yesterday I just went around so much and I was exhausted and uh, I actually injured my ankle. <laughs> really stupid story. I got an insect bite, probably a mosquito bite on my ankle right where the trousers end and where the boot starts. So the zipper part, the zip, the zip that part, kept rubbing on it and it just became so red and inflamed and blistering and it's gross. So now I've got a band-aid on it and hopefully that will be okay. Okay, I need to get out of this alley because I'm getting all the looks. Um, yeah, I'm embarrassing myself. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I pointed out a few areas that look, look good on my map. So I'm just gonna head to there and we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is more of a modern day Tokyo, same as yesterday. Um, so I don't know how vlogging is gonna go because there might be a lot of shops, less interesting things but yeah, at least we get this update um, to let you know what I'm doing this time yeah, I need to get out of this alley uh, Behind me, I'm gonna try something uh, that's called kom koma Komaki Shokuro and it's a vegan Japanese vegan Japanese meal and I believe this is uh, Zen food. Let's see if they have some room for me and uh, have an early lunch because I didn't really have breakfast. Let's go do that. Let me figure it out first. It's at this place by the way, this road. It took me a while to find this one too. <laughs> missions while I was in Japan was to get uh, some of my favorite all-time manga from when I was a teenager in Japanese like the first volume or if they didn't have the first one run, random one and it was you know I don't understand how books are alphabetized here at all I tried to figure it out but no way I can I don't know if it's by author or by title or by hiragana or by the kanji that I can't read so I was looking in the same section for ages looking for Nana because I'd already found one for my stepdad, one for my brother, and one for myself. I'll show you all. I'll show you everything I bought in another 
video like things that I bought in Japan and they'll make that video a bit easier and I really wanted Nana so I was looking around and around and around and I bought my books and left and I was like you know what this is too, this is too dumb I'm just gonna ask and I, with my worst Japanese I realized now what I said made absolutely no sense but she somehow understood me and she's like oh there's a floor for shoujo manga so girl manga upstairs and I was like oh my god it was right there and I got it I could buy like the whole series for like I don't know 20 something books for only 25 bucks and I wish I could do that but it would make my suitcase way too heavy so I just got the one here to update. I was in Akihabara for most of the day, uh, walked around, saw what type of uh, area it was, a lot of anime, manga, collectibles, toys, figurines, all that stuff. And then I tried to find a uh, dessert cafe and I never found it, but on the way I found that little uh, temple thing. It wasn't a temple, it was a shrine. I keep mixing them up. A little, a little shrine thing that I got to visit with a little more of a traditional feel right in the middle of uh, Tokyo which was quite nice and now I am on my way to a garden I think which might not be the best idea seeing the weather but I wanted to update you guys here is uh, Tokyo Dome there you go Tokyo Dome behind me uh, I've got some I guess it's Tokyo Dome City I'm just gonna see if I can find that the garden, see if it's worth going there and then I'm probably gonna head back to my capsule hotel to check in and I really need to pee, so yeah <laughs> So I'm here at Koishikawa Gardens and it's closed at 5, it's almost 4.30 so this was I believe around the last entrance and I'm so happy I made it because it's quiet and just beautiful <sighs> happy I made it it was worth the trip, I walked here definitely worth it Be something on my list when I come back. Hungry! It's a little eerie when you think about it. The park closes in less than 30 minutes. It's about to get dark. I'm all alone here. Could get lost. <laughs> Hopefully not. Maybe I'll just follow this OG sign in front of me.
a shame that I can't show you this properly. It's just getting too dark. And also, I can't really linger for too many places. At least you can hear the cicadas, the crickets and everything. Ah, here's a little light. There we go. Mm. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, it's getting dark and I don't want to linger on too long at, at different places because I do want to be out of the park before they close. I expect they'll, they won't close if there are people in there, but yeah. I, I want to take my time and experience this. I wish I could show you more, but yeah. I guess I came too late, should have checked the times. Would have skipped going to Daiso. <laughs> God, it's gorgeous. Jesus. Look at this. The only thing though is that there's no one here. Like, literally no one. There was just this Oji-san who was in front of me. And now he's gone. <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll get a move on now. If I do get lost here and I have to spend the night here, it will it will make for an interesting vlog. <laughs> Especially since I I need to pee since like I don't know, lunchtime. I'll have to pee in the wilderness. Oh, I thought it was a wild animal, but we are right next to it. A park, which kind of ruins the ambiance, if you ask me. But I'm pretty sure you didn't. Oh, I can see the OG sun. Maybe he's waiting for me. Making sure I'm still around. Okay, where do I need to go now? Let me show you where I'm at. This is an old bridge looks like. What does it say? Yeah, they have this, these little signs here. Um, I guess by it they mean where I just came from. All these steps. Okay. Let's be careful because I'm about to have to cross through there, I think. <laughs> Yeek! There we go. Look! It's a turtle! Can you see him? Okay, let's not fall in, please. Okay, did not fall in. Now, ooh, look at this. See, I'm at a crossroads again. Should I go this way or that way? I'm gonna go this way because this is the way Oji-san went. And I keep calling him Oji-san, but he's not that old. <laughs> Maybe he's my spirit animal, you know, like some people see deers and they follow them, follow them out of the forest and things and my spirit animal is an oji -san. Okay, it's actually really dark down there and maybe this is the entrance? Could it be? Uh, I believe that I'm lost. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a labyrinth. Oh, here's the announcement again saying that I need to get out soon. Okay. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. I just saw a G-san again. Oh, I just, there we go. Exit through that way. Restroom, exit. Shall we, shall we go to the exit then? I feel like I haven't seen everything. But the park is closing, the gardens, sorry, are closing, so... Maybe I should go to the exit. Again, that way? Or that way? That way. Where's Oji-san? Oji-san? Oh, definitely this way. Whoa. I 
you look way, way over there. There you go, there he is. Here's my OG son that I'm following down. I'm at the top of the world. Yes, I am. <laughs> I still need to get out of the park. I saw the exit and I didn't take it. And now I'm like, ah, I need to get out. Let's get out. I keep saying that, so but, but now I lost OG son. And the park closes in 10 minutes. <laughs> I need to get out of here. <laughs> I found the exit. <laughs> I, had, I was a little stressed there for like two minutes and I was like, mm, which way? Okay, that was amazing. Recommend. Forgot what it's called though. Koishikawa Kurakuen Gardens. Recommend. Perfect way to end the day. And we all